So, the Black Arts Movement by me, Christian Perez. Let's get this started. So, a little bit about me. Uh, I am Christian Perez, and I'm a 21-year-old. I currently can attend Cal State Dominguez Hills, and I'm undecided on my major as of right now because um, I am deciding on either marketing or communications because I want I really want a job in the MBA. Um, that's what I've always wanted, and I that's one of my dreams. Um, my current hobbies that I love are photography uh, slash videography and just uh, traveling whenever I have the chance to. Uh, I really grew, I don't want to say over the pandemic, but kind of a year after that. But during the pandemic, my love for photography and videography grew and I just uh, I love it. And I just love taking pictures, different angles and all that. So hopefully if I ever get a job in the NBA. It has to do with one of those, either one of those uh, niches. Alrighty, on to the next. On to the nitty gritty, why we are here. Uh, what is the black arts movement? Uh, why is the black arts movement important? That's embarrassing. Um, so, yes, years of being enslaved and suppressed by white people. Slavers were pushing to make black people forget their past this movement allowed for those stories and traditions to live on the 1920s i didn't put that in here but the 1920s harlem renaissance was kind of the first um black movement and that was with the influence of jazz and just that era of music and all that that was kind of the first um of movement and then this was kind of the rise of something else of the black of the black power movement so the black arts movement is from the black power movement so the rise of the black arts movement propelled political activism and gave african americans the confidence to express their feelings and voices in media and to be heard for a long time um with the killings of um let's say emmett teal and all that many many black people in america weren't heard and they were just thrown to the side so this movement allowed and even after um malcolm x died and um, martin luther king this was a way for black people to express themselves non-violently violently in a way so they can cope and get their voices heard in the media and to have their you know um a lasting um peace i guess um so who started the black arts movement so right here oh let me say who actually started or who people say started the black lives or black lives the black arts movement in 1962 the black arts movement for poets and writers started from the umbra workshop as a literary movement so from 1962 is said for poets and writers is when they say the black arts movement started but uh, what many people say the black arts movement started in 1965 a month after malcolm x died by a name that named by a man named amari bakater baraka the poet found the black arts arts repertory theater in harlem new york a place for people to come and be able to express their artistic talents freely and not to be this was a place for artists to come to express themselves where they didn't have to be pushed around or or just made fun of they were able to show what they had uh, this spark led to thousands of theaters to be made across america and allowed for people to get involved with the black arts movement so um amari only had this theater up for i think a year or two and after that he kind of went back he went somewhere but after that um people took took that little thing that little theater as a as a wake-up call and many theaters across america started to come up and many um artists started to make their name so let's go to the next one. Uh, some notable artists that
that come from the black arts movement. So right here we have Nikita Giovanni. Uh, she's really a, a big one in the black arts movement. So she was born June 7th, 1943 in Knoxville, Tennessee. She founded the Cincinnati's first black arts, uh, arts festival in 1967. Published her first set of books, book poems called Black Feeling, Black Talk in 1968. That sparked Black Solidarity and Revolutionary Action. Uh, she later went on to win multiple awards, including the Woman of the Year from Ladies Home Journal in 1973. As, to as today, she is a professor who still teaches the importance of writing and poetry. And that was really nice to um, to hear that she's still alive because she is, a, I would say, is a big um, she's a big, important figure in the black arts movement. So that was good to hear that she's still alive. And then another another um, notable artist is Jeff Donaldson, uh, born on December 15th, 1932 in Pine Bluff. Uh, I can't say this. Arkansas loved drawing cartoons and comics as a child and went on to pursue arts in college, established the University of Arkansas's first arts major. And during his time in college, his interest in Afrocentric art was developed. Founded the Afro Cobra organization that was committed to creating a new African American aesthetic, but also encouraged social responsibility, involvement in artists in their own local communities, and promoted pride in black self identity. Wrote several critical essays on art and black pride, and served on the dean of the college of the College of Fine Arts at Howard University. Jeff Donaldson sadly did pass away on February 29th, 2004. So it was really recently uh, that he passed away. And it's pretty sad because he, I really liked his art. And just the way, I, it seems like even though he did live a long life, but during his like time of living, he did do a lot for the black arts movement. Um, another notable um, artist is Faith uh, Ringgold, born in October 8th, 1930 in Harlem, New York, earned a BA at City College in New York City in 1995, was largely involved in the civil rights movement, especially the women's rights, um, created a painting called American People, a work of art that dissected the American dream to expose the uncomfortable realities of racial gender qualities. Um, she also took up quilting that has many pieces and has many pieces that created that she has created that show black women's experiences. As today, she was a professor at UC San Diego. And then what does the future hold for black arts movement, for the black arts movement? I believe the younger generation will continue this movement one day and will be able to infiltrate white spaces. And then what I mean by that is I want to use the late and great Virgil Abola. Don't, I hope I didn't disrespect him in any way as an example um he was able to use his talent and creative and creative side to be the head of a white brand called louis vuitton it designed if that does not inspire um children to know that race does not matter it's about your heart and hard work so yeah he did die pretty recently and he was um a big um a big person that brought fashion and like streetwear together and he was the first um black male to be the head the creative head of like one of the biggest um fashion brands in the world so that's that's just amazing uh i feel the gen i feel this generation um I feel the generation before us have helped us enough to succeed, but I believe the sky is the limit for the future generation to come to carry on the torch and just show us what they really have. And I just, I, I can't wait for the future. Alrighty. So I am done. Um, this has been a really fun class and I just can't wait to, um, learn more on my own. So this is my work cited if you just want to try check those out. But I just want to say
thank you. I had fun in this class and I hope you have a very um, good Christmas and winter break and I'll see you later. Bye. Christian Perez out.